Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Pepe coin using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer here in 2025 and be profitable doing so. So before we dive into the video, I do want to start off by asking you to make sure you stick around for the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more Pepe coin that you mine here in 2025. So, before we start with the tutorial, I always like to start things off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto's up about 1% today to a total market cap of $3.3 trillion. Um, of course, leading that pretty much similar to the overall market cap Bitcoin, just under 1% up today, which is awesome to see. Now, of course, taking a look here, there is a little bit of red mixed in, but overall, relatively flat day. There's a couple uh, single percentage ups on the 24 Four hour um, but let's scroll down a little further and look at the star of today's show pepe coin priced at about four zeros and then 1177 that is up about 1.15 percent today and if we click into this a little bit further here to learn more about this coin as you can see it's all-time high uh, was four zeros and two eight two five so right now being priced at four zeros eleven seventy seven there's about uh, well there's over a double uh, potential here if this was to just get back up to that all-time high um, and that's not even including if you think that it could go higher so how do we start mining this coin as this is not a traditional mining coin. Well, we're using a site here called OnMinable. Now, if you're not familiar with this site, it basically does what the title says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable or coins like Bitcoin that are traditionally mineable but take a, a very long time and a lot of power to actually mine. Um, and the way they do that is they actually allow you to uh, use an algorithm that is most profitable for your hardware. It doesn't matter if you're mining with CPU, GPU, or even ASIC, and it doesn't matter if that ASIC um, or the mining algorithm is mining a different coin, because they'll take care of the conversion and pay you out. Um, you might be thinking, why would you do that versus just going out and purchasing Pepe? Well, maybe you already have a computer that sits off for half the day, maybe just overnight, and you could be putting that to work. So let's get started. What you're going to first do is go down in the description, click on the link to get over to Unminable. Um, if you use that link, there's actually a 25% discount built into that for your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in a minute here, or navigate to unminable.com. Then what you're going to do is come down here to get started with our guided setup. I always recommend going with basic as that's good enough for 99% of people looking to start mining, but advanced is there as well. Then we have GPU and CPU options. I'm going to be going down the GPU path, but if you are following along and want to mine using your Windows CPU or you're following along and want to mine on a Mac OS device, make sure you choose that CPU option. And I'd actually recommend that you shift over and go watch my How to Mine on Mac YouTube video, which actually will be very similar even if you're mining on a Windows based CPU. Then you'll choose the algorithm that is best and most profitable for your specific hardware. Now, I'm not going to know what that is because everybody's computer is different. So what I always recommend is go over to the site whattomine.com, enter in the GPU or CPU that you are looking to mine with, and it'll tell you what is best and most profitable so that you can come back here and choose that. Now I'm going to be going with Kapow today, but please make sure you check that and get the most out of your mining time. Then you choose the coin you want to get paid out in. They actually have over 90 different cryptocurrencies here on the site, but of course today we are going with Pepe. Then you'll go ahead and paste in your Pepe address. As you can see here, this does pop up and say it's compatible with ETH networks, but please double and triple check this address because everything will work correctly as you see in this video, even if this address is incorrect. So please keep that in mind. 
go ahead and say next and the final step here is the referral code section now if you use the link in the description below you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated like you saw here on screen and as mentioned this code actually gets you a 25% discount on your pool mining fee so here on unminable there's a 1% mining fee for meaning for every hundred coins you mine uh, Pepe coins you would be paying one of those coins to unminable doesn't matter if you do that in a minute or in a year it doesn't matter if the coin is at today's price or ten dollars a coin you're always going to pay that one coin per hundred so reducing this down to 0.75 percent means you get to keep an additional 25 percent of the coins that you would have otherwise paid to unminable if you didn't use that link and still want to take advantage of it the code is bitcoin tips with a capital b and a capital t or you can go ahead and continue without that referral code and the final step here is downloading the miner and getting started I always recommend going with Gminer as this is the one that I've personally used for many, many years. I've had a lot of really good luck with it, but all of these miners are also good options. Just make sure you are choosing one that is compatible with the GPU that you are looking to mine with. As you can see, Gminer works for both NVIDIA and AMD, whereas Team Red Miner and T Rex Miner work with only one of those manufacturers. So, this kind of future proofs if you ever upgrade your system, you won't have to uh, redo your files here. But what you're going to go ahead and do is select Download Miner Files. This is going to take you to the GitHub where you download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, things will not work. You're going to get an error right away when you go to start the miner, which we'll do in just a minute. So if you have that issue happen, make sure that you didn't forget to uh, do the extraction step there. Then what you're going to do is come back to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. This is correlated to the miner that you chose. So this blue button will only work for NB miner and will not work with the files that I just downloaded. So make sure you choose the one that is underneath the miner that you chose. As you can see, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this appears to be an unverified file. Are you sure you want to continue? You are going to have to say continue, download unverified file if you want to use this program. Now, if you are not comfortable doing that, simply just select the delete from history button and move on to something else in crypto. Unfortunately, this is going to be part of mining, whether it's here with Unminable and following this tutorial or really any other site, any other pool, any other mining program, it's going to happen. So check out something like free faucets um, in crypto if you don't want to download things. Then what you're going to do is drag and drop that into the folder where you just extracted all your files. As you can see, I have unminable, pepe, kapow, gminer, dot bat. At this point, we are ready to get started mining, and to do so, all you have to do is double-click this file. Now, you can see that this has popped up and said Windows has protected your PC. Um, are you sure you want to continue? Continue and there's a don't run option. Well, we want to use this, so we're going to go ahead and say more info, and this gives you a run anyway button. Again, if you are not comfortable doing this, simply select don't run, delete these files from your computer, and again, unfortunately, you'll probably have to move on to something else in cryptocurrency. But if you are okay with that, go ahead and select run anyway. And just like that, about eight minutes into this video, we are up and running mining. Pepe coin using my NVIDIA RTX 3070 here in 2025. So just a few final things about mining with this program. When you start the miner, as you can see here, there's some blue text, some green text, some yellow text, no red. If you're getting errors, you will see it in red. Um, that means something's wrong. So if it looks similar to this, you are up and running mining, even though it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats to populate on the website. Now, if you do run into any errors throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're seeing um, and the specific errors so that I can best help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And when you're ready to be done mining, maybe you want to play some games or simply just turn off the computer, all you have to do is find this CMD window, hit that red X, and the window goes away. Now you may be wondering why I'm telling you how to close out a window. Well, with crypto mining and unminable, when you've been mining for a decent period of time, you're actually going to continue seeing stats and even payments here on the website um, once you've stopped that miner. And I have seen the question in the past of, hey, I stopped the miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background as long as that CMD window is closed you can know that it is no longer mining 
So with that being said, again, as I mentioned, if you run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. And if there is an error, please provide that specific error so I can best help get you up and running. And and if you're still watching this video, consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't already to stay up to date on all things crypto. And if you're looking to support the channel a little further, we do also have the channel memberships and super thanks options down below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.